Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Five minutes remain. A strong start. Fight on. Double down. Double down. Yes. Three down. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 Forsaken video and today I'll be showing you a review of the 1000 Voices Exotic Fusion Rifle. Now this is a weapon that is honestly one of the most rare weapons in the history of Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 at this moment in time. Now the reason being is because right now the raid has only been completed by about 16 different teams and I have to say that I am super proud of myself and my team because we were actually one of those teams that finished it early earlier today. I believe we came in 13th place and if you're talking about consoles like the PS4 and Xbox, we actually came number one. We were the first team to beat it on console. Now I'm not here to brag and stuff like that because I know Consoles not really where the hardcore players play anymore, so it's not really that much of an achievement But honestly, I'm just super happy about that because I'm not really a PvE player And I just I thought something like this could never happen especially with me on the fire team uh, But yeah, so that ended up happening and the reason why it's also rare is because not only do you have to finish the raid itself And loot the chest at the very end, but the drop of the weapon is not even guaranteed So this thing has a very rare drop chance from that chest so all in all, there's probably about 10 people in the world right now with this weapon, if that. So it's super, super rare. It's an awesome weapon. It's very unique. And in the future, of course, it may be like Atheon with the Vex Mythoclast, where as the weeks progress and you keep doing more and more of these encounters and the full raids, the drop chance may raise week after week. Let's hope that's the case, because if not, some of us are never going to get this thing, as the drop chance right now seems pretty damn low. But before we get into the actual review of the weapon, guys, I do want to mention that I am giving away a Rockstar exclusive emblem. This is from the Destiny 2 Forsaken Rockstar promotion, and I did buy a bunch of cans, so I am doing a giveaway. All you need to do is like the video, comment down below what do you personally think of the raid, and of course, be subscribed to the channel. Check your YouTube inbox, and in about 4 or 5 hours after this video goes live, I'll be picking a winner and sending them a message with the code. So good luck to all of you guys, and let's just jump right into this weapon's perks, because this thing is very different different compared to a normal fusion rifle. So we're now on Josh's account, we're going to take a look at the perks and the stats of this weapon. Now, one thing that actually jumped out at me right away is that the weapon itself looks like a bad juju merged with the Vex Myth class. The reason why I say that is because the bones on the weapon remind me of the bad juju, and of course the weapon model in terms of its shape looks a lot like the Vex Myth class. Now the intrinsic perk that we have here is Ahamkara's Eye. Charging this weapon unleashes a giant continuous beam of death. That sounds absolutely horrendous for whoever is on the other side of this weapon, or I should say, the wrong side of this weapon. We then also have one of the barrels, which is extended barrel. We then have liquid coils, which is slower building charge for higher damage. We also have unforeseen repercussions. This is a trait or a perk. This weapon's beam superheats its targets upon impact, causing delayed explosions. And finally, we have fitted stock. So all of those things really come together to make one bad badass weapon and uh, another very unique feature of this weapon is that it has a 1000 charge time that's the only fusion rifle with a four digit charge time and i thought that was pretty interesting and even though it may sound very high and you might think it's trash in both you know pvp and pve i was actually melting people with this thing because of one of the perks that we'll talk about in just a second before we take this thing into pve and see exactly what it's made of take a listen to the actual draw sound when you're pulling this weapon out So, I don't know if you guys caught that, but if there's any Destiny 1 players out there watching this video, that reminded me a lot of the Outbreak Prime. That was an exotic gun that was located in the Rise of Iron Raid. It was a SIVA themed one, and it sounded very similar to that, almost like a different variation of that, but very similar. So, what can this weapon do in PvE? Because you've seen it, you've heard it, it's awesome, but... 
what can it do? And the answer is that right there, ladies and gentlemen, total destruction. This thing is so much fun to use in PvE. I'm not too sure how effective it's going to be in terms of dealing with a singular boss where you have to just lay as much DPS into him as possible, but when it comes to dealing with endgame activities where there's multiple yellow barred enemies and multiple, you know, red barred enemies, this is definitely the way to go. It almost feels like you have a rocket in your heavy ammo slot, but you have a little bit more control over where exactly you're doing your damage. Now, of course, because this is a long charge up time fusion rifle, the actual burst and the one round that counts when you expend it out of your magazine lasts a fairly long time. So typically a fusion rifle when you shoot it it would last you know maybe for half a second right a burst of energy would come out of it and it would go in a straight line and that would directly hit somebody and all the damage would be right there. But this one is actually around a two second burst of energy that comes out of this weapon and because it is a two second burst you can actually move your weapon to the left to the right up down or even in like some sort of you know zigzag formation and all of your actual energy will go into that direction out of the fusion rifle and it'll do damage to all of those places that you marked with your weapon so it's very very cool if you're doing some sort of event where you're waiting for enemies to spawn you can almost pre-nade the ground so normally you would throw a grenade when enemies are spawning but with this you can just shoot the ground in a zigzag pattern and wait for them to spawn in and then boom they'd all be taken out instantly so it's very very unique and this is definitely one of my favorite weapons right now just because of the fun factor alone Alright, I've seen a lot of cool shit in Forsaken, but that definitely takes the cake. I can fire a fusion rifle that fires a burst for probably about 2 seconds from the right side of my screen all the way to the, my left side of the screen, and everything in its path is absolutely destroyed and explodes. It is such an awesome weapon, and I know this may sound pretty stupid to say, but once you guys are fully powered up in terms of your light level, make sure you grind this on all three of your characters every single week, and what I mean by that is of course the Last Wish Raid. If you are able to do it, make sure you do because getting this weapon I feel will be very difficult just like the Vex Mythoclast, and so you want as many chances at getting this weapon every single week as possible. This weapon is most effective if you know spawns of current enemies. If there's a doorway maybe in Gambit that you know tons of enemies are about to pop out of, this could be one of the most lethal weapons that there is, especially because it'll just tear through every single one of them and some of the explosions probably will chain against each other and just take out more and more enemies. Now if we're talking about single DPS against the boss, then this is probably not going to be your go-to weapon. Those are still going to be things like the Sleeper and the Whisper of the Worm. Now this does more single bullet damage compared to those weapons, but the problem is that it takes a long time for this to charge, for the DPS is definitely a lot less efficient when you're using this weapon. It also has 7 total rounds that you can pick up and hold, and if you do have armor perks that you know increase fusion rifle ammo in the power slot, you can get it up to 8, but that's still not really enough to do DPS damage on a boss when you can use something like the Sleeper Simulant, which I believe can carry 15 rounds, or the Whisper, which can have something like 20 rounds, especially if you have gear with, you know, sniper extra ammo. Now let's talk about this thing in PvP because oh my god I was having a blast. As soon as I hopped on this guy's account I actually kind of dreaded hopping into PvP because I thought this was going to be one of those weapons where I would have to just use it and suck it up if it wasn't very good and then I have to give you guys a straightforward review but oh my goodness. This thing was just so surprising. Every single time I saw a group of enemies it would just shred every single one of them. I would charge it up in advance as I saw them on my radar, and then I would just shoot it from right to left or left to right, and if I tagged even any of them for a split second, if I just even moved slightly over their body, if I brushed over their body with the scope of this weapon, they were dead. It was such an awesome feeling, and this is something I definitely want to use more in the future, especially in game types like Zone Control in Destiny 1, or even just, you know, regular control in D2. Once I get my hands on this thing I'm going to be really you know putting it to the test and seeing if I could get something crazy like maybe a five piece with this thing or a six piece with one bullet that would be absolutely awesome. 
This weapon is not a gaunt tier weapon that's going to be absolutely broken and people are going to complain about like the Vex Myth class, but it definitely is something that will wreak havoc if you know how to use it correctly. There is a skill gap and it's going to take some time to learn how to use this. It one shots supers and honestly a lot of the time it pleasantly surprises you by getting multi kills that you didn't even know were there. But that is it for the review guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know how you're enjoying Forsaken so far in the Last Wish raid. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. Subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 Forsaken content. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.